Hello everybody! A very warm welcome to the 2021 Play for Change Awards ceremony. Toy Industries of Europe launched the awards last year to recognize toy makers who were going the extra mile to drive positive change in children's lives, their futures and the world around them. In this year's second edition of the awards, the jury was once again looking for outstanding toys or initiatives designed to empower children, provide them with the skills to face the future and protect the planet. We were thrilled to see even more companies demonstrate how they are rising to the challenge. Each of us has a role to play in making society a better place for children to grow up in. And the issues the awards address are also high up on the political agenda. This is why it gives me great pleasure to introduce two special guests today. First, we have Commissioner Helena Dali, who is responsible for equality across the EU. And then Miss Irina Reyes, who is a member of Cabinet for Commissioner Gabriel. Commissioner Gabriel is responsible for innovation, research, culture, education and youth. The promotion and protection of the rights of the child is a priority for the EU. Every child should enjoy the same rights and live free from discrimination and exclusion. In March, the Commission put forward the first ever comprehensive EU strategy on the rights of the child. The aim is to address the challenges and better protect, promote and fulfil children's rights. The EU also upholds inclusion and equality for children through the Gender Equality Strategy, the Disability Rights Strategy, the EU Anti-Racism Action Plan, the Roma Strategic Framework and the LGBTIQ Equality Strategy. All EU member states are parties to the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child. And one of the most important children's rights in this convention is the right to play. Play is also one of the most distinctive features of childhood since the very early years. Whether playing alone or with others, children learn, develop skills and integrate values through play. It is essential for their development, health, well-being and inclusion. It also encourages kids to uphold diversity and inclusion and respect one another whatever the gender, race, disability, social status or religion. Nothing should hinder the right of children to enjoy play in its diversity. Yet stereotyping on different personal characteristics and strong gender differentiation still exist. Views of how a girl and a boy should play and the toys that are perceived suitable for them maintain the traditional gender role divisions in society. Also, games are not always accessible for children with disabilities and not inclusive enough of different racial backgrounds and other diversity characteristics. Everyone in society has a role in fighting against discrimination and ensuring equality in play. From parents, guardians, educators, the media and children themselves, all the way to producers and manufacturers of games and toys. You can contribute positively to children's lives and futures by producing toys which are inclusive and promote diversity and contributing to greater cohesion since the first years in life. You can also combat gender stereotypes by moving away from gendered design, packaging and marketing. The Play for Change Awards provide a great opportunity to show that this is achievable and that it benefits not only children, but our societies too. A very powerful message from Commissioner Dali on the impact we can all have. And now, let's hear from Ms. Irina Reis. Dear participants, many thanks for inviting Commissioner Gabriel to the 2021 Play for Change Award. She has kindly asked me to represent her at this event. Children love playing, teenagers love playing, and so do grown-ups when we take the chance. 
As we try to make our children happy with new, innovative and cool toys, more start also to think of the way we consume and the impact that has on the environment. This environmental consciousness comes no doubt from our young generation, who are asking us to live a healthy and thriving planet for them, but also for their children. This is why more and more industries are switching gears and changing course towards a new industrial era. One could call it Industry 5.0. In an Industry 5.0, one takes a holistic approach when designing durable, reusable, repairable and inclusive products. Industry 5.0 promotes talents, diversity and moves the focus from shareholder value to stakeholder value. We cannot separate social environmental from the economic benefits if we want to transform an industry. They have to work together. And this is also what the European Green Deal is about. With the recent sustainable chemical strategy, the Commission is supporting this transition by funding safe and sustainable materials and chemicals. Equally relevant in this context is the new education area and the digital education plan, which have concrete actions to su support sustainable development education, digital skills, but also digital critical thinking. There are also funding programs to offer support. Horizon Europe with the European Innovation Council, which is focused on startups and SMEs. Erasmus Plus, which is not only about mobility, but also innovative education practices and community of practices. And the new European Bauhaus Initiative, which wants to include creative industries such as you, our toy makers. Indeed, I, I, we really believe that toy, make, toy makers are already on the path to become more green and inclusive. And based on so many innovative and vibrant SMEs, you not only generate over 50,000 jobs, but the toys you make, they preserve European cultural heritage and values. And this award is such a great example of what these values mean in practice. You are rewarding in areas such as equality and empowerment, sustainable production, and the right to education for all. So when Commissioner Gabriel learned about the second edition of the Play for Change Awards, there was no second of doubt. She said, yes, it's a good initiative. I want to support it. So on behalf of her and myself, a big thank you to the organizers, to the jury, and the best of luck to the contenders. Thank you. What a joyful message and a clear call to action for toy makers to continue to make a difference in children's lives. And now it's time to find out who won the 2021 Play for Change Awards. In today's first category, the judges were looking for entries that make children truly believe in themselves by challenging stereotypes and making play more accessible. Here are the finalists. We've heard adults discuss racism a lot this year, but sometimes it's just hard for us kids to understand what they're actually talking about. Listening to Barbie and Nikki discuss racism helps us put ourselves in Nikki's shoes and imagine how she might be feeling when she faces challenges because of her skin color. It also teaches simple ways that we can all make sure nobody is left out or discriminated against. This new system makes building with Legos more fun for kids who are blind or can't see well. The bricks also can help children learn the Braille system through play. The tops of the bricks represent Braille letters, numbers, and other symbols in 11 languages. They also have printed letters, symbols, and numbers, so everybody can join in. Miniland Dolls with Down Syndrome These dolls by Miniland represent girls and boys with Down Syndrome and come in different skin colors. It's really nice that children with Down syndrome have toys that look a bit more like them. And they also teach everyone that difference is beautiful and that it is important to include everyone in play. And in the empowerment category, the bronze award goes to Lego Braille Bricks from the Lego Foundation. The silver award goes to Barbie Message Against Racism from Mattel. 
and the gold award goes to Miniland Dolls for their Down Syndrome range. Congratulations. Being recognized by the Play for Change Awards, an initiative of Toys Industries of Europe, the voice of reputable toy manufacturers in the European Union, is an honor for Miniland. It's a strong recognition for more than 50 years dedicated to childhood developing toys which makes a difference. Congratulations to Miniland on winning gold in the empowerment category. Moving on to the next award. In the sustainability category, we were looking for toys that educate children about the environment, as well as companies who are front runners in using sustainable material, packaging and production processes, and those who are actively encouraging recycling. Here are the finalists. Green Bean by Dantoy. The green bean toys that Dantoy makes are created from plastic that would normally have ended up in the bin. Because they use excess material from their own production, they know exactly what the material is made of, which a responsible toy maker needs to know for safety reasons. It is exciting that each toy is a little bit different depending on what leftovers were used. The ecologic puzzles and games from Adventera Games have taught me about different aspects that are important if you want to save the planet. I now know more about eating in season, about the importance of saving water as how to recycle well. It's nice to learn all these things while you're just really playing. And all the games are completely recyclable. Pixel and Create by Buddy. In Pixel and Create, we can build images and models that look like they are made from computer pixels in the real world. Once the design is finished, the tiny blocks easily click apart and the creative fun can start all over again. What makes the bricks extra special is that they are made from plants. Bio Buddy worked with scientists to create a formula that respects the earth and people on it as much as possible. They even have a certificate to prove just how sustainable it is. And in the sustainability category for 2021, the bronze award goes to Pixel and Create from BioBuddy. The silver award goes to Adventera Games. And the gold award goes to Green Bean by Dantoy. Congratulations. We have entered the Play for Change Awards because we believe as a toy brand that we are market leader within sustainability. And that's why we want to contribute to the entire sector. So hopefully other brands can learn from what we are already doing and in that way make an even better future for our children. Congratulations, Dan Toy. Keep up the good work. And now onto our final category, future skills. Critical thinking, problem solving, resilience and tech literacy are more important than ever for kids' futures. Toys that stimulate these future skills are what the judges were looking for in this category. The Spike Prime set from LEGO Education is super fun and while building different creations I have learned how to code and program. Everyone knows their bricks, but with this, you are challenged to work out some difficult problems and you'll learn to think hard, try a lot out, and think some more until you get there. It was lots of fun. Millie Land's amazing insight teaches young children about the body. There are five organs that need to be put in the right position on this soft monster. If you can scan the cards that match the organ, you can watch cool animations that tell you really interesting facts about the human body. Cyborg Can Cosmos It was fun to build a Cosmos Cyborg Can and made me understand about hydraulics. The instructions don't just tell you how to build the hand, they also show you how hydraulics work in the real world. And once the hand is ready, you can try to use it as a real hand for picking something up or even writing which is not easy, but a lot of fun. And finally, in the Future Skills category, the Bronze Award goes to Miniland, Amazing Inside. The Silver Award goes to Cosmos for its Cyborg Hand. And the Gold Award goes to the LEGO Education Spike Prime Set. 
Congratulations to LEGO and congratulations to all the winners of this year's awards. Being recognised in the Play for Change Awards for Spike Prime means a real validation of our investments into learning solutions for children, coupled with the fact that we are being recognised by an organisation that is driven by recognising those providers who place developing children's confidence at the heart of what they do. Congratulations to LEGO on winning gold in the Future Skills category. And well done to all winners of this year's Play for Change Awards. Thank you to everybody who entered. The bar was very high and judging was no easy task. But with so much fantastic work going on in the toy sector, I can't wait to see what's going to happen next year. Please make sure you register to stay up to date and we'll see you next year at the 2022